Hey there, all. I'm here with my son Matt tonight, and we're going to try a different little experiment. <laughs> By the way, Pineapple Crush, I don't know if you get this in your area. I don't think they do. <clears throat> no? That's that and roast chicken chips we only get here. So, what we're talking about tonight <clears throat> is we're going to be giving our thoughts on different horror movies. We haven't planned that ahead of time. We're each going to give a horror movie. We, give, we each give our thoughts on it. The other person gives the horror movie. We kind of bounce off back and forth, kind of do a free flow. So that's uh, what we decided to go with tonight. Yep. <clears throat> so, I'm going to start it out, and he doesn't know what I'm going to say first, so if I bring the suspense up, let's it's talk about a carry. <coughs> carry? Which carry? Which, well, which is your favorite? Uh, I've only seen the one. <coughs> uh, the original, which I like a lot. Um, <coughs> good, oh. I'll stroll voting there. Great. Uh, <coughs> but, no, I, I like the original carry a lot. I never saw Fury. I never saw... Uh, the new Carrie, I was gonna go see it in theaters, but I didn't hear the best things. Like, you mean the Rage, right? Yeah, no, Super no, no, not yeah, Rage. Uh, did I say Fury? Yeah, yeah. I meant Rage. <clears throat> um, the Fury would make sense. Um, the Rage. Uh, I didn't see Rage. I didn't see the new one, which I was gonna see in theater <coughs> with Chloe. Name for it, last name I can't pronounce. Uh, Who's? But uh, I, you know, <coughs> my thoughts on the road on this channel. I love them all. And I especially love the new one. So, uh, you're trying to think of a movie. A movie that you've seen? Doesn't matter. Does that, because I was going to say, I, I think you, we mentioned Goth once on here. A movie you haven't seen. Uh, you mentioned somebody to suggested you Goth. Goth's a fun movie. Uh, it's weird as a horror movie. Yeah, <laughs> it's, 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 it's a little more like art scene, the way that it focuses on not the murders itself, but rather these two kids who are obsessed with the murder. That's why it's called goth. They're both into murder. And there's a <laughs> little twist that you can kind of guess, but it's a good movie overall. It's a coming-of-age horror film. Yeah. Think about it. yeah, it is. Uh, <coughs> but it's it's weirder one. It's a weirder one when you think about Speaking, it. Speaking of, we're going to go, okay, coming-of-age. Coming-of-age has kind of been like a, a, a train wreck here. Yeah. I'm going to go with one more <coughs> before we move on to something mm -hmm. else. <coughs> Pin. Pin. The 1988, I think, film. Pin, uh, Written by Andrew Niederman, who would later take over the role of the V.C. Andrews books, uh, <coughs> wrote this uh, this creepy novel that he made into a movie. I think it had Martin Newitt. And basically, uh, brother and sister, they live together with their family. Their father's played by Terry Quinn, of course, who was set father. And uh, <coughs> they die. And, but what he does, there's he's a doctor, and he has this, like, and Tom played correct. Oh zombie. God, I wasn't remembering what you were saying until <laughs> yeah. I was like, "Wait, is he talking about?" Nah, he couldn't be talking about. He's talking about Pin, which was awesome. The sequel was not awesome. The there was se no sequel to Pin. Wasn't there? No. Oh shit. That's why it wasn't. I'm awesome. thinking. <coughs> I don't remember what I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about. Uh, I'm thinking about fear. That's what I'm thinking about. Pin, yeah, yeah. Pin is creepy as hell. And you have you seen Pin? <coughs> oh, I don't think I've seen that. <coughs> Very much you're going I thought out. it was the movie Fear. Do you remember the movie Fear? Fear will talk to that in a second. Oh, God, yes, I remember that movie. The first movie was okay. The first movie was good. It's the second one. With the, one the uh, with the, like, Indian chief background that was, like, never introduced and made no sense. <coughs> okay, so we talked about Pin. was a favorite film of mine from the 80s. I think I've heard the rumors that it's being brought out again. Uh, I love the movie. <coughs> Thought it was a really cool character study. It was really creepy. Uh, <coughs> kind of makes you wonder: Is this guy's mind completely fragmented, or has this pin anatomical creature actually got up and started to uh, to move around? We kind of find out near the end, <coughs> and the answer and the ending, which ties right, in, right into the opening, is completely horrifying. And I gotta say, it, I loved it. Uh, me, I'm gonna mention dumplings. Specifically, I guess, I guess oh. you could say the three extremes, but everyone remembers dumplings. The dumplings got made into its own film. Well, dumplings, yeah, like, dumpling was a disturbing film. If we're that's gonna, Bay, right? Bailey. Yes, I think. Um, <coughs> I love dumplings. Dumplings is awesome. Awesome. Uh, the, it's freaky. It's very disturbing. It reminds me of things that we might mention later, like martyrs or. Uh, no. Or mostly martyrs. <coughs> In the film Dumplings, <coughs> there's a woman. She's getting older. She wants to stay attracted yeah. to her, to her young husband, and uh, she finds a completely horrific way to do it, which we're not going to spoil for you. But it has to do with dumplings, yeah. and dumplings are not just dumplings in this. It may make you never want to eat dumplings again. The unless you're completely ending of the film <laughs> is holy, 
the reason I mentioned Martyrs, and anyone who, like, starts to watch, if, like, starts to watch a film, they're like, you know, this is like Martyrs, nothing horrible, like, complete skinning has happened yet. Um, when you get, when you think of the concept of what the dumb things actually are, and something that happens near the end of the film, <clears throat> yeah. then it's much, much worse than what happened in stuff like Martyrs or anything like that. I don't that. I'm not sure about that, but... I don't know. I was tortured all through Martyrs. Oh, yeah, she gets tortured all through Martyrs, but, like... But let's not give You know, I mean... <clears throat> bathtub okay. scene. You said so what I'm talking place. about. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Unfortunately, I do know what you're talking about. <laughs> okay, then that's... Much different in the three Let's think of something... The inside. Or inside. Sorry? French film. <clears throat> a woman gets in a car accident with her husband. Her husband dies. And she's, take, she's pregnant. She's taking care of the baby. She goes home. It's a snowy night, it's Christmas air time, and she's very close to her, to her due date. All of a sudden, someone's in the house. Someone wants the baby. Wants the baby out of her stomach, no matter what. God, the French are freaking disturbing, aren't they? <laughs> no, I recently did a video on like French New Wave horror, which some people call... Oh, okay. chicken strips, what great input you have. French extremism, which I don't like that term, so I don't use it. <coughs> uh, French, I prefer the New Wave horror term. Yeah. It goes right in with the French New Wave cinema, the good air and stuff there. Uh, <coughs> so. Back to me. Great. Um, you know what? Um, the new Evil Dead movie, specifically the new one. Because I saw it in theaters, <coughs> and I saw it with the worst crowd I've ever been in theaters with. Um, yeah, don't go laughing during a horror movie. Yeah, I was in it, and, like, every time there was, a, like, a scene where it was either, like, disturbing or, like, really violent, everybody laughed. Yeah. And it <laughs> seemed... I don't well, know saw, thing. like, Army of Darkness and thought this was supposed to be a comedy or... No, no, here's too. the thing. People that but, do that are pretty scared. Yeah. <laughs> and they do laughing to the show that they're not. But, unfortunately... Well, here. If you're one of the people that get scared and think that when you laugh in a movie you make kind of a ridiculous comment, oh. it makes you look not scared? No. It makes you look like a complete pussy. It yeah. really does, because you're not fooling anybody. We know you're freaked out. It's also Deal. not funny when you do it in any other form of film. When I went to see Logan's Run, I had somebody in the background yapping the entire time because, well, he didn't understand what was going on in the movie, so he decided to make comments instead. When I went to see, uh, well, when we went to see Batman uh, recently in theaters, the original 1989 Batman, awesome. Aaron almost had slapped the bitch during the Yeah, there was a guy, like, right beside you who was just... Making goddamn yeah, comments. And <laughs> when uh, when I went to see Akira, uh, my best friend had to bring his sister along, who just decided to come because she liked the anime stuff. And for the first like ten minutes, like every time anything happened, she'd be like, "What's that? What's that?" When she saw, uh, oh god, uh, Kakashi. I think his name was. Yeah, the kid Kakashi. Um, uh, she was like, what if you got Benjamin Button syndrome until we were both, like, bitch piped down we ain't got time for this? Okay, we're going to steer back because we're going to have a tangent again. Yeah, it's a tangent about something like that. <clears throat> and I want to introduce one here. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be... Mm -hmm. I totally blank We didn't even mention what happened to the Evil Dead, by the way. <laughs> oh, we did. By the way, it was, really, it was really good. I liked it <clears throat> a lot. We both loved Evil Dead, the remake. Uh, uh, there was... Characterization was great in that film. Yeah. I <clears throat> found the... That's ending, like, twist thingy, like... Did you like that? It's a bit hammy. <coughs> I gotta say, <clears throat> you can say a lot about movies that you like or don't like or something like that, but for Evil Dead, <coughs> and I had this argument with a fellow YouTuber, actually a fairly famous YouTuber on there, I won't say his name right now, <coughs> but the characterization of Evil Dead is what works. <coughs> They're not the standard stereotypical characters that you would expect in a horror movie. And, uh... <clears throat> the only problem I have with that movie, and I love that movie, I saw it in theaters, as I mentioned before, you did. Yeah. Uh, you were supposed to come, but you were sick that day. Uh, I wasn't really sick, I just wasn't sure. <laughs> um, <clears throat> was the last ten minutes, there's a few scenes where I just was like, I, what? Hold on for a second, that doesn't make any sense. Can... You're, and you, you know what I'm talking about there, the, the car battery scene, the scene where with the brother character suddenly, <coughs> and this. then the... brother the, character suddenly is one of my favorite things. That's hard for I, It is, but it didn't make any <coughs> sense considering the previously established rules. But it was okay, because it needed a climax, and without it, it was just a weird 
climax. But I did like it, and ooh, it was a brutal film. <coughs> but, okay, so then it's my turn to think Yeah, it's your turn. And I actually had something, but uh, somebody somebody made me fur. I, no, I made you not <laughs> skip my movie, thank you. But uh, if we're going to talk that, let's talk something right now. Favorite director in horror. Favorite director in Favorite horror. Favorite director, top three. Top three? Uh, top three. Just because I love <coughs> all the Puff Master movies and dolls. And, a, and and who knows, maybe he's secretly on the YouTube channel now watching and saying if he says my name, he'll give me a free film. <laughs> or g let me give him advice on the next Puppet Master movie, because come on, no more access film. <laughs> Charles, Charles Mann, obviously. Well, I'll uh, do my turn, and then we'll go yeah. back to work. I'm going to go with one of those, <laughs> guys. But because I'm one of those know-it-all types. Yeah. And uh, <coughs> I also like the Puppet Master films. I'll pick uh, the, actual, the actual cool director from some of the best Puppet Master films. I'm oh, the worst. Okay. And I'm going to go with, because he also made uh, Tour Strap, and I think he made Ties as well. Yeah. And I'm going to go with David Schmoller. <coughs> as a kind of a lesser yeah. known director. So this yeah. is, let's not go with big directors. Let's go to be directors. fair, we did look into things, and I think he did the Axis film as well under a different name. Schmoller? There was some heavy, like, Things that led towards <laughs> like him being noise. It was Schmoller. I'm okay. almost certain because there was some stuff about it. Uh, so your next one is to remember to try not to pick a big one. Same as before, let's pick uh, smaller directors. I'm just going to steal this one from you because I was talking about it recently and I was listening to some of the soundtracks from his films. Jerry Argento. Wow. Well, he's bigger, but okay. Well, Argento's again. <coughs> well, he is bigger, but he's also. Uh, the, in a sense, if I can't pick Argento, Argento's one of my favorite directors of all time. Uh, if you don't know or like Argento, really get into him. Oh, you really should get into the sound stuff. Once again, as I just mentioned, the soundtracks of <coughs> films are enough to watch them for. Uh, Lucio Fulci. Very diverse director. Did a lot of really cool stuff. I love the uh, Gates Hell trilogy. I love New York Ripper. Does some incredible stuff. I love when Donald Duck voice kills people. That's pretty incredible. <coughs> We're almost finished here, so give me a third one right now. Uh, James Gunn is the guy who did the new, like, haunting ones, right? James Wan. James Wan? Thank you. James Gunn is the guy that did Slither. And, uh, okay. Definitely. I won't. I'm not going to dislike him with his own, but James Wan is one I'm uh, thinking of. Uh, I, he, he also did the Saw films? Saw films? Well, his I'm, first Saw film. Yeah, well, I know he would, had a part in the other ones. He, he <coughs> talked about doing an eighth Well, film. he was a crazy. Yeah. 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 Uh, those films, I'm, I'm in several places with. I like the first three, but I don't, after that, it gets Perfect very touching. Awesome. Yeah, it gets very touch and go, though. Um, <coughs> but... I love, I completely love all of the uh, stuff like uh, The Conjuring and uh, his other Insidious. thing. Insidious, thank you. I can never remember the name of it. <coughs> so, excellent, excellent like, ghost films. I did the third one, don't I? You uh, do. You do. You said I wanted to do Canadian. Uh, the guy from the other one. Oh, uh, who's a good Canadian director? Let's go with Cronenberg. I love Cronenberg's early stuff. Oh, yeah, because that's uh, amazing super stuff. Super not high profile. Oh, it's not any more high profile than Argento. They didn't do a space. Did they didn't just recently do a Space Channel documentary on him at least? All right. Yeah, they did. I missed that. Did you? It was on, I don't on have space. space. Oh, that's right. You're on Space Channel. For like <coughs> the last, like for a little while, they've just been like a wow. Space does he Channel. Get that? Okay, well, I don't know if he does. It just looks anyway, like work and stuff. Early Cronenberg, <coughs> but if I had to pick somebody that's less, then I'll go with. Uh... Oh man. He picked her gentle, so that's like... Hey, he doesn't get any higher quality than Dracula 3D. Oh, my God. So don't even give me that, like, uh, he's so high quality. He is high quality. Yeah, but, but yeah. I gotta go with, and this is the... Oh, man, uh, I'm just all this stuff now. The clock so gonna... ticks it down, <laughs> Father. I know, and I'm trying to, like, look around and see, like, directors and stuff like that. In our you know what? <laughs> I am going to go with Richard Franklin. Mm. Fantastic director, Australian director. He did Patrick, he did Psycho 2, and he did the fantastically underrated road games with uh, with uh, Stacy Stacy Keach and uh, and uh, my God, Jamie Curtis. Yeah. <clears throat> fantastic, fantastic film. And with Richard yeah. Franklin, we are going to be out on this one, and we'll be back for another See video you later. Richard Franklin, I've had a cat hair in my mouth this entire video. So that I is impressive. Finishing this off, and I'm putting the kettle on because it is time for tea. And water.